Ibn Abi Hatim, anhu, one of the great scholars of the hadith in his Sunan, he reports that Iblis made a dua to Allah and he said, Oh Allah, you want me or you created me to have fitna, to do fitna on the children of Adam. I have no power on the children of Adam until and unless you allow me to. So grant me the power to cause fitna to children of Adam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, for you is that. Then Shaitan said, Oh Allah, give me more. Increase me in it. Listen to this. He said, what? Increase me in it. So Allah said, whenever a child of Adam is born, you will have another shaitan that is also born. Meaning for every human being that exists in this dunya, there will be another shaitan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows shaitan to actually procreate and to have more children. For every child that is born in this dunya, there is another shaitan that comes into existence as well. Then the shaitan said, Oh Allah, increase it for me. And so at that point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, for you is the opportunity to flow in the veins of Ibn Adam, just like the flowing of blood. So Allah gave him the ability to go into our bodies, to start to wonder and, and play with our minds, to be able to so inconspicuously sound in our mind as if it is our own deep thoughts, but it is actually shaitan saying his worst and evil, evil words into our mind, whispering into our ears. And then shaitan said, even more oh Allah, give, us, give me even more. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse. وَاسْتَفْزِزْ مَنِ اسْتَطَعْتَ مِنْهُ بِصَوْتِكَ وَأَجْلِبْ عَلَيْهِمْ بِخَيْلِكَ وَأَجْلِبْ عَلَيْهِمْ بِخَيْلِكَ وَرَجِلِكَ وَشَارِكْهُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ وَعِدْهُمْ وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا What is this verse? And O oh Shaitan, gather your forces, gather your armies, gather your khayl, gather your, your, your horses of fire from Jahannam, gather them all and gather your men, gather the shayateen which are the knights of the Shaitan and go and create your hamla, your war upon humanity. And go and destroy them with your forces of evil, go and attack them. وَعِدُهُمْ And promise them everything under the heavens and the earth. And then Allah says, وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا And whatever Allah and whatever shaitan promises you, it's nothing but a mirage. It's nothing but a dream. It's just a facade. It's fake. It's nothing but a lie. So in this hadith, it continues. And it says that Adam alayhi salam heard this dua of Iblis and came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Ya Rabbi, you have given shaitan this much power and authority over me. So what will you give me, Ya Allah? Give me something. So Allah said, a child of yours will not be born in this dunya except that I will send two angels, not one. One shaitan, but two angels that will constantly protect him from the evil of the shayateen. And that's what Allah says in the Quran. He says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ What is it? Oh, no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what? لَهُمْ وَعَقِّبَاتُ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِ يَحْفَظُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ What is that verse? It says that for every single human being are two interchanging angels, one in the front, one in the back, that preserve him from the command of Allah. Meaning what? We have five angels at any one time. Shaitan has one enemy, but we have five at any one time. Two to write down our deeds. One on the right, one on the left. Good deeds, bad deeds. And then two more to protect us, one from the front, one from the back. And they also interchange. And then a fifth one to simply whisper into our ears, do good, do good. Say this, say that, say subhanAllah, say alhamdulillah, say la ilaha illallah. And he is our good side, five angels. Allahu Akbar. So Adam became happy. And so he said, oh Allah, give me more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, for every bad deed, I will only write one bad deed or I will remove it, meaning I will forgive it. But for every good deed, I will write 10 good deeds. So he became happy. And he said, oh Allah, give me more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that I promise you that my forgiveness is forever open until the soul leaves the body. Meaning once the soul is in the body, 
then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness is always open. And then, because shaitan asked four times, so <laughs> Adam alayhi salatu salam, our father asked the fourth time, Ya Rabbi, zid, give me even more than that. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Qul ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusihim, la taqnatu min rahmatillah. Meaning, do not at all despair, at all. Do not have any doubt at all that Allah loves us so much. He cares for us so much. He really wants to be with us in Jannah. He did not create us to punish us at all. That's why this verse is the strongest verse ever revealed in the Quran. As was reported, some of the scholars said, which is the greatest of, of verses? They said, Ayat al-Kursi. Another one said, which is the greatest verse about Allah's, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Qul Allahu ahad Allahu samad, right? And then they said, which is the greatest verse for happiness? That creates the greatest happiness. This is the verse of happiness. Qul ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim, la taqnatu, do not at all despair of the mercy of Allah. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a, Allah loves to forgive. And you'll forgive every single sin, your past, your future, your present, every single sin. Innahu huwal ghafoor rahim. Indeed, he is the most forgiving, the most merciful. 